This facility has the capacity to process about a thousand tons a day, which is the largest of its kind in terms of what we do, meaning handle, handling residential bottles and cans, commingled metal, metal glass and plastic, largest facility of that type in the country, if not the world. New Yorkers put a, a sort of, I would say, a broader array of materials in their recycling program than, uh, than most curbside recycling programs. We get everything from Christmas trees to bowling balls and things like that. So what we're trying to do is obviously automate it as much as possible. We pull in a lot of components that are really from construction demolition waste processing and the scrap metal business so that we can handle the city's material. So we have a, a slow speed shredder as well as ballistic separators, which again would not be typical. It's inevitable that there is going to be some manual component. Certain materials require manual quality control step because the machinery is not perfect. We try to limit that but use it where we have to for quality purposes primarily. We have 850 feet of dock for barging in material as well as barging out material. We have rail siding and obviously truck access. We sell to customers all around the world. They're mostly in North America. Our plastic customers are mostly down south. Steel customers are, you know, in Pennsylvania and Ohio. If we do, the, do our job right, we assemble the equipment in a way that we can have very high throughput, have high quality products at the end, and do that with minimal operating costs. Aside from commodity markets and, you know, participation rates at the household level, you know, that's the key to our profitability.